Hey, what's up guys? We're the boys about spoken and thank you for watching this episode Which is our review of last week's uh, finding Prince Charming on Logo TV uh, You know, it was a very emotional episode first of all yeah. because I, Just the things that were exposed and, and told really, you know, really had a tear come down my eye, you know? Right. Oh, definitely. I think I, I will say this for me. It's the first time that I actually got touched by this right. show yeah. right. so I agree. I mean, this is the first time, you know, there's some realness you know some real genuine feelings and emotions and life or death stuff you know that's kind of being brought up and um you know it did it, it did give another layer to the show and to especially some of the contestants so yeah i love the whole mask thing it's just like it gives the person to open up and not really feel judged because everyone's doing it and mm -hmm. you get to know them like i feel like a lot of them have been guarded and it's been on this persona so i thought it was like a way for them to put their guard down and just like right. Okay, now you're, I see you more genuine just because you let down that wall. Right. I love this. You were able to be vulnerable yeah. and be yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. Which a lot of people, because a lot of people don't know how to be vulnerable. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. All of the contestants uh, were, they were assigned the task of designing, there was like a masquerade. Mm -hmm. And so they designed their own mask that kind of suited their personality and their story. And they, when they took off that mask, they revealed to Robert what their secret is. So something that he didn't know about them. Eric, he revealed to everyone that he was HIV positive. Mm -hmm. um, for me, that was like, cause I never look forward to watching this show. No shade, you guys. I don't really like that show until now. Yeah. I know there's so many people that I know in my life that are affected by HIV. And the way that Robert, even Ro the way that Robert handled it, I thought was amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean, let's be real though. He can't be judging anybody, yeah. but you know, I, I overall, like, I think it was really good. It sent a positive message out there, made people aware about HIV and, mm -hmm. you know, the effect that right. it has on people. Yeah, I right. thought so, too. I thought it, Robert handled it well. So mm -hmm. he said he grabbed his hand, mm -hmm. and I was just like, oh, wow, he's comforted him. He was there for him because, yeah. you know, you never know how someone's going to take it. That's, you know, such a big issue in the gay community. It's a stigma behind mm -hmm. it, right. and a lot of people won't even give HIV positive men a chance. Exactly. Right. So I just yeah. thought, you know, for him to give him that date that night, and just have them that night be special to him. I thought it was very nice of him. Definitely. Yeah. Did you guys remember the part where uh, Brandon and uh, Robert had the conversation? Somebody being more aggressive? Yes. 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 Exactly. Like, I'm not going to chase you. I feel like we all relate to that. Right. I can, I can that, definitely that, relate to yeah, that. Yeah, that happens to yeah. me all the time. Where I'm like, oh, well, I'm not going to go say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Say hi. And, right. And a lot of times I think that that, I think that's just a problem within our community in general. Like yeah. when we go out to West Hollywood, you see all these, like, there'll be guys that you find attractive. And they'll and be staring you down. They'll be staring you down. You down. <laughs> and you're staring at them, but nobody will ever approach anybody. Yeah. Everybody wants to be chased. Right. I'm guilty of it. Yes. Yes. Then, yes. then later on that night, they hit you up on Grindr saying, Bro, oh, hey, did I like, see uh, you? And <laughs> I'll call them out. I'm no, like, oh, me too. Yeah. But I also feel like Robert and Brandon probably, because they're both very good looking guys, they're probably used to everybody going up to yeah. them and approaching Maybe. them. But no, 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 no. I, I would say this. That isn't always true because I, I know I'm I'm good looking. I'm not saying I'm the best looking guy in the world, but Stop. I'm cute. <laughs> so, uh, she's cute. She's I'm cute. cute. I'm cute. <laughs> but I, I, I heard, I'll hear people say this all the time. Well, I was so intimidated that you were going to say hi to me back, or oh, I, I I thought that you know you looked like you were too mean, or yeah. and I'm over here mm -hmm. smiling like crazy, mm -hmm. being extra, being probably not myself to, to show people that yeah. you can come and say hi. Like I'm not going to bite you. I mean, for me, I I, I think about it diff completely different. Mm -hmm. I my insecurities take a hold of me. Right. And sometimes mm -hmm. if I find a, a guy attractive, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's really, really cute. I, there's no way. Like, I don't want this rejection. Oh my gosh. Who Just cares? because, I mean, but that, I mean, it's easier for you to say, Brian, because that's, you You know, you're confident in that sense. You're you right, know? You're right. Not everybody is going to look at somebody and be like, Oh, I got this, and I can, yeah. you know, they, they're gonna want right. me back. Yeah, I just think we all like to feel like, oh, they're interested in me. Mm -hmm. right. Like, they made the first move, oh my god, they saw something in me, so now I feel like I can go forth with it. Right. It's a nice breaker when someone approaches you, but then you never know if they're gonna be receptive or not. So, exactly. everyone, of course, wants to know that, okay, this person likes me. I have an upper hand yeah. in a way, or I have, you know. You at least like how I look, and right. like, you at least. There's an attraction. Right, you know, right. Like, Something to work know, like with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or go fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Simply because every, because everybody's gay in the gay community, everybody wants to be the Julia Roberts. Right. <laughs> you know? They all want to be courted. And everybody wants to be the one that's getting, you know, oh, I'm getting, you know, wind and dine uh, and I want to be approached and whatnot. Yeah, well, some of us just exude that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's but, looking fishy. She's so fishy. I'm just so real right now. Um, I also noticed how Robert wanted Robbie to be more serious. Do you mm -hmm. think he meant more masculine? 
Uh, you know, I, I never thought that's, about that. That's how I took it. That's clearly just Robbie's personality. Yeah. You know, he's a little flamboyant. He's the life of the party. That's who he is. I do think it low-key was a little more... He wasn't as masked as he would yeah. like. I and mean, that, that never came across to me. Really? That's how I took it. Did you did it? I, I was, I, I did, but the one thing that I respected about it with with Robert Sepulveda was mm. that he didn't feel the need to address. I'm sorry, you're not masculine enough for it. Well, him. he's not you gonna know? say that. Of course, he's yeah. not gonna say that. But also, it, it's and I respect the fact that people have their types. You know, yeah, people right. are attracted to what they're yeah. attracted to. When Prince Charming first started, I wasn't the biggest fan of Robbie. Yeah. Sorry, girl. But this time around, I kind of liked the fact that he was like, you know what, this doesn't seem right. I feel like I'm being somebody that I'm not. Right. Really, that's yeah, not really who I am. Right. And the way that he gracefully left the show, I right. thought was so cute. And he showed his personality. Yeah. I actually like Robbie now. No, I, I do I too. thought he was adorable. He's, I like his hair. He has nice I hair. I love Robbie <laughs> too. I felt like I got to love him too. Because I was right. the biggest fan. I was like, yeah, he's kind of low. I'm not uh, And then when uh, Robert said he wanted more serious. I hated how he acted like Robbie like was kind of distant and yeah. not himself and it yeah. was kind of sad to see him like shelled up and not being able to be that fun, mm -hmm. exciting guy and so I was, uh, it was just, a, it wasn't a match. Yeah, it whatever. just it seemed like they were telling Robbie, be you but don't be you. And I bet all the contestants made friends with Robbie. I wouldn't yeah. I think yeah. everyone's like, probably, he seems cool. Yeah, yeah. I think. They didn't feel like all of like they have a sisterhood. Yeah. Yes. I yes. felt like Dylan should have been the one to go home, but that's just me. Go we'll see two next week. I <laughs> <laughs> should be going home soon. What do you guys think you're going to be in the finals at this point? Dylan is going to go the long haul. You no, I think Dylan's going to go home next. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Brandon, Eric, Maybe and Justin. And I, I, I don't think Justin because of the whole. You remember that part? Yeah, you know, it's been a little. They've been yes. a little different lately. The, um, no, Eric and that. Justin's Eric and Justin's friendship mm -hmm. is getting in the way, way of, of their their individual relationships with Robert. Totally. Yeah. So I kind of respected Justin in the sense he's like, I don't know, like I feel like I should just kind of step aside and just let it happen for my friend. I just feel like those guys. What you on the show for? Exactly. Right. Yeah. They, they have to. They have to ask themselves yeah. what's more important to me: winning Prince Charming or my friendship. friendship. You know, mm -hmm. he has whatever twelve people to choose from. They all are gunning for one person. There. What's the chances? Maybe yeah. they don't all want him quite as much mm -hmm. as you know you would think. So yeah. maybe they'll build relationships in the house and friendships that are something they could see lasting and being stronger That's than right. a potential relationship with him. And mm -hmm. if you really felt like that, then go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's, that's really... and some of the guys have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. part of what Robbie. I think I don't think he was feeling it. He knew that they weren't connecting that way, and he cared about the other people in the house and knew that they had stronger connections. So he bowed out gracefully. He did. I really, I drew a lot of love for Robbie on this, this episode. episode. Right. Robbie and Eric and mm -hmm. you know all the guys being vulnerable. Yeah, right. It was and then. There is, that's the serious side you want to see. Then mm -hmm. it is. I can be a mature person. <laughs> that, Just because yeah. I choose to be fun and, you know, upbeat, don't yeah. take away that from me. You right. know, my serious side. Yeah. They're like, I'm just trying to have a good time. Yeah. And, yeah. It's okay. almost like, no offense, Brian, but it's almost like, no, 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 but like, no, 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 this is a good thing, this is a good thing, like, oh, just, yeah. no, no, this is a good thing, it is a good thing. The thing about Robbie is that he's always himself, and he seems to live his life to the fullest, and be himself, and do what makes him happy, and be the life of the party, and I feel like, you're like that yes, in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. No, and I've told yeah. you before, yeah. you never I ever, admire, don't I change, I know, you, Brian I know. is always the one who will talk to you at the club, he's always the one having the mm -hmm. most fun, always the most turn up, and I respect that. In you, and Robbie, and whoever, anyone that can live in their truth and be themselves, mm -hmm. and fuck and all the And it kind of goes back to what you said, because you can probably relate to Robbie. You said you have a problem with dudes that oh, you end up getting friends on. Remember, yes. you were talking about That's this. True. But it may be because you are so homey-like. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and it's not a bad thing. It just means when the right one comes along, you're yeah. gonna know it. Yeah, <sighs> well, I'll work on it. Well, no, no don't but, work on it. No, no, that was all. No, 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 no. I, I get what you guys are saying. I get what you. But I can't wait for next week. Next week's gonna be amazing. Let's end it. All right. Let's so, end it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't forget to like, um, share, subscribe, leave some comments at, below. And you guys have like, there's been a lot of people who've been leaving comments, and you guys are like our our, our buddies now. Like, also below is our social media handles: Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Pornhub. <laughs> 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 see you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.